I think they, you know, okay. Okay, I think we're ready. So we went out there in the hallway and took that man. And we don't know what they said, but people were saying, Kamal was sitting here. I don't know if you can see the mouse sitting over here on the right hand side. And then he was allegedly, from what they say, intimidating people by staring in their face. All right. So just FYI on that. Kamal said to me, Look, I'm not the mate, I'm not the supervisor. I don't have nothing to do with none of this. But it has been reported to us that in that conversation, there may have been an attempt to intimidate. There might have been an attempt to discourage. Uh oh. Well, I think we need to figure that out. Do we have our guests? Let's bring up Paul, ladies and gentlemen, and let's ask Paul what was said in that private sidebar conversation. Paul. There he is, Paul the white man. <laughs> Shout out to TQS. He's so crazy. <laughs> he said, while well, this meeting was going on, I was in the bushes. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. I can't with y'all. <laughs> I ain't shit. All right. All right. So we get, this is the man, Paul Roberts with a Z who was taken out, taken out. I'm saying that loosely by Kamal. Cause he needed to talk to him. I'd have been like, nigga, what? Don't ever touch me. That's just me. Shout out to Paul though. How you doing? Can't hear you, Paul. Where are you at? Paul, you in the basement. Paul, we we can't Paul, hear you. You 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 going you going off right now, Paul, but we ain't we can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Unmute so, yourself. Shout out to uh Kevin. Let's, uh, let's let's take Seven Paul seconds. out and let's get his let's see if we can get his audio fixed and then we'll bring him back. Paul, Paul came in ready. He, Paul Paul came in like, yeah, let me tell you what this motherfucker, huh? Tell us, Paul. Tell Paul, us, your, Paul. Okay, Paul, your mic is up. Paul came in ready. Y'all, y'all saw. He got Kendra G Wi Fi. <laughs> Don't get in no trouble. I saw you down in the basement. Your wife better know you on this live. Exactly. We're going to get Paul back here. Paul in the we're basement. That's where his, that's where his uh, cigar lounge is. <laughs> and while we're waiting on. Huh? Okay, so producers are trying to get Paul's. Uh, audio together all right I let's get this audio together where we at where we at let's move this along we're waiting on paul are we ready paul we let's ready try to, let's try to get paul producer said paul is ready paul how you doing let, 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 before this even starts shout out to a uh, jedediah he is on um youtube under investigate and advocate with jedediah brown and he is in the streets of Dalton pointing out everything. He was the one. This is the person when we watched the video yesterday where uh, the body cam of Big Tiff and the Chief Lacey and um, Kamal were complaining that this man here is allegedly stalking Big Tiff, which we know is not the truth. We watched him when we went to court, all that stuff, all that stuff. OK, so this is the man that they were re referencing. Okay, when they were lying on camera. Uh oh. Paul, do you know sign language by chance? <laughs> Maybe closed captions. Okay, sorry. Producers are taking Paul, Paul back break. away. Paul is playing peekaboo with a nigga. We're okay. we going to get Paul great. Right. Okay. I see you, say. Paul. I see you, Paul. Let me okay, see. Hold so on, hold we're on, waiting on. for that. Um, we we gonna yeah, we'll move promise. forward. That's child. Move Anybody move got forward. time? Give me Paul. <laughs> Can I get a round I'm of here. applause? A sound effect for Paul. For Paul. Shout shout out to Paul. <laughs> shout out to Paul. Paul was gonna get it together. He said, "I'm telling my story. I'm gonna get my truth." He said, "I'm gonna get my truth." <laughs> Paul, how you doing? Come on, Paul. Well. You better be glad that you ain't got to deal with no councilwoman like that. But you do got to deal with a with a boyfriend of the mayor of Dalton, the supervisor of Thornton Township, Tiffany Hinyard. And so we played the video clip.
Could you kind of walk us through what what are we looking at? Well, you probably heard at the start of the meeting, she saw that Gardas Watts and I were both there about to make comments. So she gave us only two minutes instead of the three minutes that she's required to give us. So I couldn't read my last two paragraphs, which were the best part. Uh, I told her that if she had any historical perspective, she would have remembered 1968. Mm. Walter Cronkite, the most trusted newscaster in the country, visited Vietnam and said the war was unwinnable. Lyndon Johnson was president, and he knew that if he had lost Walter Cronkite's confidence, he had lost the confidence of the country. So Tiffany has no sense of history, so she's not going to step down. Shot, 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 shot. Everybody, Paul Thorne shots. <laughs> Paul out here throwing shots. He said, uh-uh, Big Tiff, you ain't got no sense of nada, okay? I am Tiffany A. Henry of Dalton, Illinois. This video will look at how to pronounce Chicago and... Illinois. Il, uh, no, Illinois. Communication. C O M M U N I C A T I N O S. So stop with the grandstand for the 18th time. You guys got to learn to get out your feelings because you guys want to be petty. Uh, anyway. <laughs> You um, asked what happened and, and, at the end of the meeting. So wait, you said that you were supposed to get three minutes. She only gave you two. She still, with all that's going on, she's still not following the rules. She's still changing them to, to be right. terrible. She gave Gardas um, Watts only two minutes. And he had prepared a whole bunch of numbers to show that the township is in deficit and not the surplus that she's bragging about. So how often are these meetings held? twice a month so thankfully can... in township she doesn't cancel the second meeting like she does in dalton so you get two they're, times they're in a 30-day time frame supposedly to express yourself to your elected representative where you know they're going to be there and you're supposed to get three minutes and she's only giving you two normally she gives speakers three minutes Terrible. But on okay. Tuesday, we only got two. Okay, so 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 you're there giving your comp comment, and I want to tell you, I thought that that maybe God couldn't find Locust comment was absolutely brilliant. I want that. That uh, wasn't mine. It was a joke about Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I still want the T-shirt. I still want the T-shirt. So okay. while you're standing there, you're you're you're. Is it customary or is it something that always happens where Kamal is sitting there or somebody sitting right where he was sitting there while you were giving your comment? Kamal always sits in that chair. Kamal always sits in that chair for effing what? Just making sure you're an officer too. Yeah. No, I'm just making security. I'm our guy. Okay, I'm just, I just gotta make sure, man. All right. I'm, I'm her guy. Uh. <laughs> Why does anyone need it? And then he was staring at everybody's face, like just all this staring in the face. Now, this last meeting in Dalton, they didn't have the oppressor up there, even though I like that oppressor. Um, they didn't have the oppressor up there to stand there in front of your daggone face. But how are you going to just switch up and talk about you got two minutes instead of three and like people are not having a fit over that? I'd be like, bitch, bring up the bylaws, child. Bring up the bylaws. Shout out to Chief Rock up in here, up in here. Thank you so much for the support. Very generous of you, hon. <laughs> Somebody must have got their taxes back. I'm the boss, so we gotta hook you up. We gotta make sure you get that back screen yeah. You got a couple of kids. You don't have no job. Yeah. Don't worry about it, little girl. That's my job. Yeah. Come in by your taxes. Everybody, please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Keith Price always sits in the chair where he is. Uh, Keith Freeman and William Don't Pray For Me More are always in those chairs. And usually uh, Lacey is there as well. The first time I brought my wife to a Thornton Township meeting, she says, I'm never going to let you go there alone. I saw the way that Kamal 
and William Moore were, were staring at you. Wow. It's that bad. Wifey said, you can't go on your own because these, let me interpret. You can't go on your own because these niggas crazy. <laughs> this is your own damn town. That's crazy. But wow. uh, she let me go by myself on Tuesday if I promised that I would go into the building and out of the building with a friend. And thank goodness, Gardas Watts, Stephanie Wiedemann, and Josh Bootsma from the Lansing Journal were all there. Shout out to those people. <laughs> Shout out to all those supporters that are sticking together and supporting one another, because honestly, that sounds half damn crazy. And I believe it. I'm sorry. I believe it. We, we see this intimidation, alleged intimidation that they're doing. Even with all this pressure, all these eyes, all this conversation, and they still acting like we ain't got nothing to hide. Hell, the real mob wouldn't even act like this. They don't act like this, okay? They are on the low. You ninjas don't be knowing. You just think everybody need to see every damn thing, and that's to your own damn detriment. You could have been in there fleecing everybody all by your damn self, but y'all got to act like everybody got to know. That's why you be taking your own selves down. No empathy, no GD sympathy, child. So when he came and pulled you to the side, he brings you into the hallway, he wants to have a private conversation. Could you share any of that right. with us? Sure. Come on. Uh, Come on I stopped immediately outside the door. I think he wanted to take me outside, but uh, right outside the door, uh, he said, you've taken a bunch of pictures of my car. I don't like that. That car that we saw yesterday, what was it y'all, a BMW, whatever it was? Okay. And then keep it in your garage. I mean, okay. Get out my face. You had to pull somebody aside trying to intimidate them about that for a car that allegedly the townspeople may be paying for. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Can you promise me that you'll uh, never take another picture of my car? The all damn dacity. You gonna come out here and try to talk about can you prom pr pinky swear? Is that what you want, Come all? Can you pinky swear? that you won't take a picture of my car ever again. Y'all don't realize the last thing that you need to be worried about is Paul taking pictures of your car because there's people in higher places that have already taken pictures of that damn car, but you think you're going to come around here and intimidate Paul? You're going to jail. You're, you're going, going to jail. jail. Welcome in. All right, I'm great. All right, just make sure. You're an officer too? Yeah. No, I'm just making sure. security? I'm our guy. Okay, I'm just, just going to make sure, man. All right. I'm, I'm our guy. Uh... That's never going to get old. Um, shout out to Goon in the building. He said, who is this white guy? This is the white man that Kamal pulled to the side after the Thornton Township meeting after he had negative things to say about Big Tiff, of course, me and Paul, the white man. And then I guess uh, Kamal said that he needed to talk to him. He came and got him when the meeting was over and it was caught on tape by Lansing Journal. And uh, he is talking to Jedediah about what was said during that conversation. Cause we be, we be needing to know because these brood of people are the gift that keep on giving. Uh, he said it with enough urgency that I said, well, I don't know what, why this is a big deal. You could uh, feel free to take as many pictures of my Nissan cube as you'd like to. <laughs> but he kept asking me uh, if I can promise never to take another picture of his car. He asked me six times, and by that time, Josh Bootsma uh, of the Lansing Journal was behind him. Gardas and Stephanie were there, and he knew he was outnumbered. Uh, he didn't threaten me. Uh, he seemed like he wanted to, and after about four minutes, Keith Freeman walks out. He assesses the situation. He sees that Kamal is outnumbered and he's making no progress with us. So Keith just says, come on, it's time to go. Uh, Kamal leaves and utters like four or five words angrily at me. 
but none of the four of us uh, could understand what he was saying. But he was gone, and that was that. It was Ebonics, that's all. So, so you didn't feel like you were being threatened? You just felt like he was asking you a, cord, a, a, a question cordial? I felt like he wanted to threaten me, but he didn't want to get in any more legal trouble. He knew that his days of no accountability were over. They can see, you feel like they could feel the writing on the wall, but you understand the intent and what was not said is what you're saying. I get it. Right. So my question to you is, and I think that this is just for people who may not, there may be somebody who just came on one of these streams right now and don't know what's going on. Why would you take a picture of his car? Come on. Uh, behind Thornton Township headquarters, there are two parking spaces reserved for Tiffany Henry. Hmm. And at every meeting, and even last Friday when I drove by there, uh, his white two, 2023 BMW 760i Oh, come uh, on, Paul. Parked in one of those spots. Come on, Paul, knowing that crap. <laughs> Child, just because Paul can't get the daggone computer straight, he be knowing the cars. He be knowing the cars, child. Shout out to Paul. But help me understand why Big Tiffany, two parking spaces, can she drive twice as much at the same damn time? So she giving it up to her man, my man, my man. Oh, man. Right. Just making sure. You're an officer too? Yeah. No, I'm just making sure. Just security? I'm our guy. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna make sure, man. Right. I'm our guy. You going to jail. You going to jail. jail. Because y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black, and y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. The infamous black Tahoe with police license plates was marked or was parked in the other spot. Hmm. And uh, the reason that there's been so much attention on his car is it's rumored that Thornton Township purchased that car. Thornton Township allegedly may have purchased that car. No, come on, Paul, with the T, okay? This is what they are allegedly alleging everywhere that I go, okay? Now, Enjoy that car while you can, child. Enjoy that car while you can. All I'm saying is, allegedly... You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail. jail. Everything is fun and games until it's not, child. Shout out to Before the Billions in the building. Always good to see you, hon. Child, this is crazy. Yeah, y'all keep saying it's a hundred thousand dollar car. Ninety and a hundred is the same to me when we talk about a daggone car, okay? And that's what they was caught in because we saw it yesterday when they called the police and the oppressor in Austin. I think y'all said it was called in Austin. The the chief of police of Dalton called the oppressor over in Austin because he couldn't handle it. We believe. We believe that is to get something on the record to act like Jedediah, the man, the black man on the screen here, is uh, they said that he is stalking Big Tiff, which is not true. He basically records everything on his channel and he was coming from court that day and they were following him because he was on the damn live stream showing his child just because he just happened to be live streaming because that's he does a lot of live streaming. That's it. So that's the crazy part. Anyway, um, shout out to everybody who is here again. Please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. So Ben Bradley from WGM9 asked me for the license plate number Ooh. when I took a picture of it at the last Dalton meeting. I shout out to Ben Bradley from WGN. <laughs> We, we got everybody coming together. We got everybody coming together, okay? Ben is one of those reporters. He's from WGN. And then there's the other guy from um, Chicago, Fox Chicago. I can't think of his name right now. Woo! They said, we not playing. They said, we not playing. We will all work together. People coming together. I love to see it. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, the reason that there's been so much attention on his car is it's rumored that... 
Thornton Township purchased that car. So Ben Bradley from WGM9 asked me for the license plate number when I took a picture of it at the last Dalton meeting. I didn't get a picture of the license plate. I drove by there Friday, got the license plate number. Uh, I think my wife called you. Uh, your people looked it up and determined that he had switched plates, Bonnie and Clyde style. So well, damn, to... Paul! Paul! You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Oh, good man. I'm great. All right. Just make it sure. You're an officer too? Yeah. No, I'm just making sure. Just security? I'm our guy. Okay. I'm just, just going to make sure, man. All right. I'm, I'm our guy. Uh. I'm going to need y'all to let me know. I'm not sure, okay? But I'm assuming that because we're issued a license plate specific to our car, our car, right? And then you see all the jackings going on with the gremlins. And then sometimes they like, but that's not the license plate. I'm thinking that that's illegal. Oh, no, 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 no. Shout out to Chief Rocky. He said that's against the law unless he went to the DMV and requested a new tag. Okay, that's what I thought now. Uh-oh, Paul is giving up the T. Paul, I just got a yeah. Wait, Paul, wait, Paul, wait, Paul, wait, Paul. I, nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, Paul. Your name need to be honest, Paul. You giving all the tea, Paul. Yes. Damn. Wait, hold on, Paul. Hold on, hold on. Nah, we didn't plan the interview, but you are giving the facts. You're right. You're right. We do suspect that that car is purchased with taxpayer funds. And this is allegedly, 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 okay? Fair use, fair use, fair use. Come on, Paul. And Right. Damn, Paul. Man, I don't even know what to say. You gay. <laughs> I love you. I love you because you're honest. That's where you ought to be. Forget it. It's, it's, it's out there. We still got what we need. But look, Paul, this is what I want. This is, this is what I want to say to you. I want to thank you because you've literally been standing against this man for quite a while. How long have you been in this fight? You, you specifically? Uh, since November. Since November. And what got you started? What is it that got you so riled up that you had to start saying things against this man? Um, when I first moved to Thornton Township, we would get tax rebates from uh, the current assessor and the former supervisor every year that the township had a surplus. Hmm. Now, uh, when the former supervisor uh, passed away, Tiffany Henyard was appointed, and we haven't had a tax rebate since. Yes. Paul said, run me my GD money. Paul said, run me my GD money, where the money reside. He said, where did that daggone money go? Because ever since you came over here, ain't nobody seen a damn dime. Come to Boston, we gotta hook you up. We gotta make sure you get that back free money. Yeah. You gotta come again. You don't have no job. Yeah. Don't worry about it, little girl. That's not job. Yeah. Come in by your taxes. I'm asked, what the word? What a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside. And that's on who? Man had a little lamb. Okay, okay, okay. He said, where that money go? Where the money reside? Where that at? Where that at? She took over, now ain't no rebates. Woo, Lord, Lord, Lord. That's a reason to get involved, Paul. Sister complained about uh, all of her spending. <laughs> She was locked out of her office. Uh, and what really got me was when I was driving home from church, uh -oh. I saw a huge billboard. Uh-oh. Somebody said church. Praise the Lord. And it's a Sunday, y'all. You know, we got to make sure that we praise the Lord. Hey. Stop her. Hush, hush. Silence in the name of Jesus. I lift my hands. <laughs> 
on Interstate 94 with Tiffany Henyard's picture and name in big print. And I guess it was advertising services for Thornton Township. Mm. Uh, Not I guess. I started asking on the Nextdoor app, uh, what is Thornton Township's advertising budget? And I've been trying to get those numbers from the finance director ever since. Mm. So that's what got me involved last uh, November, December. Paul said, where the money resides? Paul said, where the money resides? You up here putting up billboards with your damn face all over the place. He said, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. What's the budget for it? And to this date, he ain't got the daggone information. But she says, do y'all's research. Research we shall do, Big Tiff. Because y'all got false narratives out there, and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Now, you know, daggone well, she's going to cry to racism with regard to Paul here. Okay. And so you've been consistent. And Paul, I just want to say you got a beautiful wife. You're a blessed man. You got a beautiful life. I know. <laughs> I want you to know yeah, I got Paul. your back. I said it to you when we were. Yeah, Paul. Paul said, yeah, I know. <laughs> Paul said, I know I got a good, got a good wife. I ain't giving her up. Of blessed uh, November, December. Okay. okay. And so you've been consistent. And Paul, I just want to say you got a beautiful wife. You're a blessed man. You got a beautiful life. I know. <laughs> I want you to know I got your back. I said it to you when we were out there on the ground at the Dalton mm -hmm. meeting. I want you to feel comfortable. If ever something goes on that we need to report on or talk about, you will come here. You got to find a large audience on both platforms. And right now, let's say you have one minute. What would be, because you lost a minute, but we're going to give you that minute right now. Paul. Come on, minutes. Right oh. now, you got 60 seconds. I I huh? Uh, you got 60 seconds. If you were talking to the mayor, Paul, what would you say right now, public comment? What is truth? Mm -hmm. uh, Super Mayor is always asking us to find the truth and do our research, but she prevents us from doing that. I think the truth is something that can uh, be made only between people who talk to each other and listen and work it out. And she doesn't listen and uh, she doesn't communicate with the citizens. Mm. That's from a citizen. Paul, are you a Dalton resident or just a member of the, a resident of the, of the township? Lansing, Illinois. Which is within Thornton Township. Mm. Thornton Township. Will you be voting mm. for Mayor Super, Supervisor Tiffany Hinyard to be reelected as a supervisor of Thornton Township? Would you be Would you be oh. voting for her to be reelected as a supervisor? Oh, heavens no. <laughs> is she Heavens no. Uh, that's why people language for. That <laughs> heavens no, heavens no, that is a white people language for fuck that. Lord, forgive me on a Sunday, but I'm just saying, okay, mm -mm, child. He said, Ain't no way, uh uh, we not gonna be able to do it. Can you do it? Not gonna be able to do it. A resident or just a member of the, a resident of the, of the township, Lansing, Illinois, which is within Thornton Township. In the Thornton Township, will you be voting mm -hmm. for Mayor Super, Supervisor Tiffany Hinyard to be reelected as a supervisor of Thornton Township? Will you be Would you be oh. voting for her to be reelected as a supervisor? Oh, heavens no! <laughs> Is she doing a good uh, job was, at all? I was Is an election judge this year. 
And lots of people came in saying, hey, is this is where we can vote out Tiffany? <laughs> so is there a what is there anything that she's doing that's good as a supervisor? Uh, she's definitely making people aware of the township. Ah, and there you go. people know that the township does offer services. Uh, my next door neighbor is about 10 years older than I am. She, I brought her to a Thornton Township Talks, and she thanked the super mayor uh, for the program that brings boxes of food to a sick and shut-in uh, lady across the street. All right, shout out to Tiff for that. Shout out to Tiff for that. That's a positive thing. I also think that churches should be a part of doing those things as well. But what the hell do I know? Uh, Tiffany loved hearing some praise, so she wanted to take selfies. But then my old neighbor said, you know, you got to be more transparent. The press is going to crucify you if you're not. <laughs> and that really threw her. As now, they are. You know she can't take no criticism. You know it was all, yeah, girl, let's take some pictures, girl. Oh, by the way, you need to be more transparent. I can see the look now. Mm. I don't know who you think you talking to. I don't know why you think you talking to me like that. Do you know who I am? Because y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black and y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Shout out to I Dodge the Trap in the building channel member. Thank you so much for your support, hon. He said, Paul said, she like Clay Davis from The Wire. Shout out to The Wire. Shout out to everybody who is still here. Please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Our township things, but the township has done good things for decades. She's just trying to take all the credit for it. Mm -hmm. All right, Paul. Well, I want to thank you for coming on. We got your perspective and your answer. And again, anytime you want to come on, Paul, join us again. All right. Come on, Paul. Come back. Dalton's acting police chief, along with y'all got false narratives out there. And y'all should be ashamed of y'all. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. We do not care. <laughs> 